that there's a population of them who are not educated because only recently do you find a big number or population of Somalis going to universities and and most of them are even just now allowing their women and children and girls to Mm. go to school yeah so as usual you know we couldn't go without digging further into this matter Mm -hmm. so we decided to ask Dr. Google you know because the confusion that these people be bringing out here Somalis y'all come on anyway we decided to ask Google and uh, we wanted to ask a Somali Arab so let me just read you something here a Somali Arabs Somali people, contemporary genetic studies indicate that Somalis um, in general do not possess any noticeable Arab ancestry they do not possess any Arab ancestry any features to suggest or elude that they're from the ancestry of Arab. So where exactly did they get this, um, this idea. ideology? But I think it's because uh, they speak Arabic and because and also Arabs and Muslims, part of most most East African countries, mm-hmm. uh, they experience. <laughs> So unfortunately, this is what the internet is doing to indigenous people, and they're using indigenous people to do it, okay? These two young ladies don't know the first thing about what they're talking about. So the relatives and the ancestors of the Somalian people are the ones who told them that they were Ada. And this is exactly what the case is. Unfortunately, there's a long-standing myth amongst black people that Arabs were white, but they were never white. They have always been black and the true Arabs are still black today. And all of the rest of that that's in between is people's pure ignorance. So the question that we're going to answer here in this particular video is dealing with Somalia. Okay. Now the question is, and the question has been for quite some time, are Somalians black? Are they African or are they Arab? Okay. And the reality is that they're black, they're African and they're Arab. Okay, all three are true, and these are facts. What's interesting is that we're gonna watch people from the continent of Africa deny the Arab ancestry of the Somalians. Now, in case some of you people don't understand, the heritage of Somalia, let's start with the name of Somalia. Somalia is actually named after a man named Somali, okay? Just like the area of Saba was named after a man named Saba, who had 10 sons, okay? Now this is Arab history for you people who don't know anything about us who are Arabs, okay? So Somale was the name of an ancestor of the Somalian people. And this is how they got the name Somale. And also we have clans that come from an ancestor named Sab, okay? But both Sab and Somale, ultimately descended from the Arab clan of the Quraysh, okay? This is one of the top Arab clans through Akil ibn Abi Talib, okay? So just in case you people didn't understand, Akil ibn Abi Talib was a cousin of Prophet Muhammad, okay? And an older brother of Ali. So when it comes to Somali, they are black and they are also Arabs. Bloodline Arabs. So once again, we won't just be saying this without bringing the proof and the evidence. We have receipts. Okay, when we talk about the Somali clan, let's just talk about Dir, Hawiya, Ishaq, and Daru. Okay, Daru comes from Abdirahman bin Ismail. 
Al Jabarti, okay, by way of Akil ibn Abi Talib. We also have the Isaac clan, okay, and they come from Sheikh Isaac, okay, descendant of Ali. These are Arabs people, Hawiya, who also descended from Akil. And we also have the Did, who also come from Akil via Somali. So we would definitively answer the question. The Somalians are black, they are Arabs, and they are also Africans, okay? So the Deer clan traces their ancestry back to Akil ibn Abi Talib, a cousin of the Prophet Muhammad, and an older brother of Ali ibn Abi Talib. All of these coming from who? The Quraysh clan, and also Jafad ibn Abi Talib, okay? They trace their lineage to Akil through Somali, purported forefather of the northern pastoralist clans, such as the Deer and the Hawiya, and matrilineally through the Deer, the Ishaq and the Darud, because we know that the Darud claimed their ancestry through Abdurrahman bin Ismail al Jabarti. Okay? And then we know that the, the Ishaq clan claims their ancestry through Sheikh Ishaq bin Ahmed bin Muhammad bin al Hussein al Hashimi. Okay? The descendant of Ali and also from Anu Hashim. We know that the Shikal clans, they claim their ancestry through Abad de Rumararida. Okay? What's important about this is that they trace their lineage back to Abu Bakr, the father in law of Prophet Muhammad. Okay? So these are pure Arabs and they're all black. People have been believing the Eurocentric narratives, okay? And these and the concerted efforts of the powers that be to destroy the prophetic lineage and to destroy the house of Israel, to destroy the leadership of the tribes. And who better to help than our own people who don't know who the hell they are. And so this is why you saw ISIS stationed in Somalia and Ethiopia uh, and in Nigeria and all of these places. Cause these places are all actually bloodline related to one another as well through the house of Israel and also through African tribes, okay? But this is the reason why we always see this part of the Middle East, okay, all the way into Africa. We always see it tore up by war, okay? Because this is also a place where the holy seeds still dwell, not to mention all of the locations in the diaspora. Okay, of people who are directly connected to these areas by blood. Okay, so once again, you can believe that trash that these people teach you about Arabs being white and all this type of stuff and keep confusing modern day Arabs who are not Arab at all. Okay, but they are modern day oppressors. Okay, and they are not from us. The scripture tells you, Muhammad tells you in the Hadith, whoever takes up weapons against us is not from amongst us, okay? And we always know that our people always help the enemy against us, okay? We see that in Somalia. We see it in Ethiopia. We see it in Nigeria. We see it in Ghana. We see it all over Africa, all over the Middle East, all over the Americas, in any place that we go where the diaspora is at, okay? This is a major situation. United Nations has done what about it? Absolutely nothing, okay? While genocide is taking place, nothing is done, okay? So now what do you have to do? Go read your Bible, read your Hadith, read Quran, read the prophecies, and you will understand what is happening right now. And you'll get a clear idea of why. Now, these pictures that I'm going to show, once again, we've already showed these pictures in two other productions, but we'll show these pictures again. These are the black descendants of Arabs that I'm showing you, okay? These are the descendants of Ali and Muhammad, okay? For everybody who still believes that Arabs are some other color other than black, okay? As you can see clearly, even in our own home country, we have people from amongst our people who don't want to be classified as black, but indeed, that's exactly what you are. Okay, if you're an Arab, you're a black person. Okay, you are black. Okay, and if you are not black, okay, then it just simply means you're not an original Arab. That means you're not connected to any of the tribes. Okay, and that's an important thing to bring out. The same thing is happening amongst the Native Americans. 
okay? The Native American tribal groupings are also connected to these same people that we're mentioning and showing, okay? But once again, those who are outside of our tribal affiliations are the ones speaking and putting out false information. So those of us who come from this have got to correct the ignorance. Once again, this shines a powerful light on the falsehood that's operating inside of the Oma. I dare to even call it the Oma anymore because it's not about Ahl al -Bayt, okay? It's a free-for-all right now. It's a smorgasbord of whatever you want to do and whatever you want to get, okay? That's the reality today. While the true Arabs are persecuted and slaughtered, okay? From Palestine to America, okay? Mislabeled, stuck under modern social constructions and modern ethnic constructions and modern racial constructions that do what? Delete us from history, just like it was mentioned in the scriptures. But once again, we will not be deleted, nor will we be conquered. We will be punished in measure, and then deliverance will come at the appointed time. But there's a great hypocrisy that's happening amongst those people who claim Abrahamic faith because they watch the children of Abraham die and they take a hand in it and they play a part in it and they spend their money for it and they turn their eyes away from it, okay? This is the reality. This is why I don't affiliate myself with any of these organized religions because they're nothing but hypocrites and I don't give a damn. Hypocrites is what you are, full-fledged hypocrites. And Ahl al-Bayt is the proof. Look at my people. 70% of Somalia is in poverty. Look at my people. Look at what's happening in America. Look at what's happening in Gaza. Look at what's happening all over the world to the holy people. And you still got some fools out here that don't believe we're in the prophetic time. Loose here with that foolishness.